is there really help for the narcissist? That, that question has been bantered around a lot. And many would say no. And of course, if you've been following any of my work, you know that I say maybe, maybe. I'm going to be doing a series on the five pillars of change, and we're going to go into them specifically. But I believe there are five pillars needed for real change, and I want to mention them briefly right now. And then we will be going into each one of them in more depth on additional videos. So to determine whether or not someone is capable of changing, we've got to look through these five pillars and see if we're doing everything we possibly can to bring about change. What are the five pillars needed for change? Number one, recognition. A recognition and ownership of the problem. We don't change what we don't own. So as long as I can say it's not my problem, it's her problem. She overreacts. You know, nothing will ever be good enough for her. She's always demanding more. She, 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 she. As long as there's all of that, we're, 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 we're not going to get anywhere. It's when we begin to own, and I notice that I use the word begin, when I begin to own. Ownership doesn't happen in one fell swoop. It, it's, a, it's a series. It's, a, it's, it's steps that lead to greater and greater ownership and recognition. All right, recognition is the first pillar. The second pillar is intervention. There is power in intervention. Intervention, the breakdown that leads to the breakthrough. Has there been an intervention with him? And if there hasn't been, there needs to be. I know you're going to say to me, wait a minute, you know, nothing gets to him. Well, mm, I, I want to gently disagree with you. There's power in intervention. What do we have to broker with? What do we have to negotiate with? Yes, us, our personhood. And that's worth a lot. You're worth a lot. So there's got to be a breakdown that leads to a breakthrough. And if you're struggling with this, and most women are, we can help you with this. Recognition, intervention. The third pillar is treatment. Treatment. Long-standing treatment by a skilled clinician. And so we have the 14-week core men's group for men who have been emotionally abusive and take at least some ownership of that problem. And now we've got the advanced core group where we continue those basic foundational skills and further the education and growth and further the ownership and the change process. So recognition, intervention, treatment. The fourth pillar is accountability. Everyone needs accountability for real change. Absolutely. Someone has got to hold us accountable. That's not a parental role, by the way. It just means I'm, I work with women all the time. And I tell them, you need to insist that he will participate in the core men's group. You need to insist that he will do a personal intensive with Dr. Hawkins. Or else. Or else what, Dr. Hawkins? Or else I can't be in relationship with you if you're not in a growth process where you've taken ownership for being emotionally abusive and you've stopped blaming me, you've stopped blaming everybody else and you've recognized, you've looked in the mirror, you have received the critical feedback on yourself and understood that you've got some real character issues that in many cases are quite entrenched. Recognition, intervention, treatment. How does he respond to the treatment? Accountability is the fourth pillar. And the fifth pillar, after we've made all of that progress, we're growing, there's change happening, now we've got maintenance. For any kind of addictive process, whether it's drug addiction, alcohol addiction, sexual addiction, narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse, any kind of addictive, pervasive problem requires treatment and then accountability for change. All right, we're going to have videos on each one of these. I'm Dr. David Hawkins from the Marriage Recovery Center. I hope you've appreciated this recognition, intervention, treatment, accountability, and maintenance, the five pillars needed for real change. All right, if this has been helpful, click that subscribe button. Take care 
and God bless.